Hi, I'm Gareth Thomas. Hello, Gareth Thomas Dwee, a proud Welshman born and raised in Anglesey on our family farm and a campaigner for better mental health and well-being. Diolch fawr am wrando. I love living in the countryside because on a day like today, it's impossible to beat. We are launching Wild Britain, an ambitious initiative to galvanise the nation to help save our precious wildlife. And here's how you can get involved. There are a handful of initiatives set up around the UK to help people like myself get into farming. And here are some of the services available to you right now. So life on the farm is brilliant because you experience the countryside in its real format and you get to learn from the great outdoors, although the rain can be a bit challenging. This is Have Your Voice, the weekly debate show where you get to debate the issues that matter to you. I'll be your host and I'll be joined by some guests to help keep things in order. This is tonight's menu. I think being a gay farmer is definitely important. It's a, a great part of me and it's also really important, especially in rural Wales, to celebrate your sexuality and not let it stop you doing the things that you want. Depression and anxiety are among the most common mental health conditions with one in seven men aged between 16 and 24 experiencing anxiety or depression each year. But the problem doesn't stop there, as often the symptoms aren't recognised and people my age aren't getting the help they need. I've always had an interest in politics because it does affect our lives, everyday lives, for the whole of the United Kingdom. It's really important that your votes count and from a young age you should be able to understand how the decisions made in the Parliament affects you. And to see what you're doing and where, we've created our very own Wild Britain map, so you can add your acts of kindness for wildlife. Whether that's building a wildlife home for bats, bugs or hedgehogs, we want to know. From my own experience, it's so important to talk about your mental health because although it's the hardest step that you do decide to make to open up and talk to somebody, it does relieve so much strain from you and I've learned so much from going to counselling and other organisations to get help, which has helped me to be here today.